Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video, and today I will be doing unboxing, actually two unboxings, of some of the new soldering equipment that I have just ordered. And because my old stuff was pretty, pretty crappy, you know, like the $5 little tubes off of eBay of solder, and then the $5 soldering iron also off of eBay, just, not hating on eBay, I just bought really cheap, and they, they worked enough for me, but now when I'm soldering on bigger stuff that's more complicated, um, and needs better solder and um, higher heat, um, like XT60 connectors, it just, the stuff I have is awful, I can't even do it, so I bought this new stuff, hoping it should be good, and the solder I bought was $25, Kester, and the um, soldering iron was like 61, I think, it has a hot air gun attached to it, and you can control the temperature, um, so that's pretty nice, so let's get into the box here, let's see, how does this open, it comes up, so let's see here, got a bunch of green paper wrap there and then here we have all that's in the box that was pretty simple just this little box of Kester solder here as you can see it's 6347.05 inch and I believe it's got a flux and rosin core and let's just get out of the box here and this stuff's old it's brand new it's just old stock it said that on the site and so there we go and this is a pound so this should last quite a long time and it looks pretty high quality to me just sitting here and feeling how it bends and stuff. And it looks like about the perfect thickness for what I'm going to want. This is the old stuff I had. It's Kaisi, Kasi, I don't know, off of eBay. And it was just awful. And it's probably about uh, four times thinner than this um, This stuff is because I had to like triple this up even just to use it at all. So this should be a good thickness. Um, hopefully I paid $25 for that. That should last quite a while. Now onto the box here, and this thing is really heavy because it's a whole station, so have to see what we have. So here we go. And the brand is Yehua and a two-in-one SMD rework station. I believe it's like uh, the eight. Let's see the model number. Looks like there's a couple of them. The model number is the 898D Plus. As you can see there, they just written in the plus. They put the plus in there. Let's see, it looks pretty. Um, it says hot air gun and soldering station. Uh, let's see if there's any stats on it. Nope, not really. Um, but I like the box. It looks pretty professional to me. Here we have an instruction manual. I don't need that. We have a piece of foam. And here we have some Goot Wick um, soldering uh, wick that you put on to remove solder. Most likely won't be using that. This is probably... These, these are different um, size tips for the hot air gun. We have small, medium, and large, as you can see there. And then this is probably a tool for removing and putting those back on. And here we have a little thing. I'm not sure what this is. I'm not sure about the screw. <laughs> no idea what that is. And here we have a little... Move that back. I have a little aluminum holder here, blue. Um, to hold the soldering iron, it's got little foam on the bottom, so it won't really slide too much. And it's got a piece of sponge in there, however really thin, um, wet and dab your soldering iron to clean it with. And what else do we have in here? Okay, here we have the actual soldering iron itself. So let's get this out. So here we have that. This end just connects into the station. As you can see, it's kind of got a, a weird port there that just plugs in. And looks like that'll tighten. Looks like we got a decent amount of cord. And then also we have the soldering end here, which is removable. Um, but it looks a lot higher quality than my old one. Um, just to show you here, here's the old one I have. And this thing is pretty much trash. As you can see the end here, I have to scrape it with a razor blade um, just to get it to heat up at all. It's not focusing, but hopefully this will work a lot better. And with that sponge pad, I'll be able to keep it clean. Let's see. 
piece of foam. And here we have a little bag of tips. So it looks like we have a bunch of different tips for this, so that's nice. We have a couple thicker ones where you'll find different angles, so that'll be really nice for different situations. Then here we have, let's see if there's anything else. Nope, that's it for that. So let's move that back. This thing's pretty heavy. And then here we have the guts of everything, as you can see here, the 898D+. Plus. So on the right side here, this will hold in. This is a hot air gun for to say shrink, heat shrink. So let's put that, just goes in there, I believe. And then this dial here controls the level of the air. Over here, we have a plug for the soldering iron to plug into. And you have an on-off switch for both the gun and the soldering iron, so that's really nice. And over here, it looks like... I'm not sure what these two probably temperatures because you have an up and down down and up arrow. So you probably go up to the temperature you want for the soldering iron, hit enter, and it'll go to that. Um, I'll have to test out what those are. Um, but overall, it looks pretty nice. And then on the back here, we have a cable, which is the standard US three, pro three prong plug. So that's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, and then your iron just will go in there like that. And that'll just plug in there and then that screws on so that's pretty simple and pretty easy I'll let you know um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a review on this or not because you know it's kinda just equipment but I thought I'd do an unboxing because if someone else was looking for something like this um, I'll let you know how it does out and I'll be using it since I solder quite a bit um, so there we go that was my unboxing of the Yeehua 898D Plus soldering station so um, please subscribe and stay tuned and um, see, you next, see you in the next video bye